Today, advancements in science and technology continue to revolutionize the medical industry, bringing what was once unattainable to our fingertips. If you look in the history of medicine, you basically can observe that the moment people started studying the living body, there was a big step forward. So in some sense, this is a paradigm that we want to bring to live cell imaging. Studying the living cell to improve the state of living cells in cosmetics, pharmaceutics, biotechnology and education. Until recently, the limitations of light made it impossible to look inside a living cell without damaging it. If you would observe a cell under a white light microscope, you will notice that the cell is transparent. This is why scientists have developed complex and time-expensive procedures that implies the addition of dyes or colorant to the cell in order to make the contrast among the different cell parts more evident. In this case, you have two choices. Either you have to kill the cell, so fix it, and afterwards add antibodies that color the different part of the cell, or you can modify genetically your cells in order to make them express exogenous proteins that make the different cell parts visible. In both cases, the procedures are invasive and time-consuming. Thanks to the 3D Cell Explorer, a proprietary and completely innovative technology developed by NanoLive, the inherent limitations of light have now been overcome. With NanoLive, one researcher can for the very first time observe its living cell without any special needs uh, of preparation and completely non-invasively to it. And uh, gives you a, a full picture, a complementary picture to see the cell in 3D and as it moves, as it evolves in time. NanoLive's technology is an offspring of research work made here in Switzerland at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Lausanne. Once the core team has been constituted, we hired highly motivated and skilled people who embrace the same vision, which is to provide the world with a device affordable and very reliable. With the 3D Cell Explorer and its very specific architecture, we are able to collect information from the cell, which is usually lost in traditional microscopic schemes. So at the end, we form a finer image. 3D cell imaging requires resolution, contrast, and tomography. I mean, a scheme to have this 3D information. For the 3D Cell Explorer, what is really unique with this device is that we wanted to make it smart, so no dependence on the user and the way to use it. Super easy to use, compatible with top stain incubator and cell containers used usually by a biologist and giving comprehensive results. The 3D Cell Explorer's combination of holography and rotational scanning allows one to measure the refractive index distribution within the cell. Actually, we propose a complete exploration solution. The 3D Cell Explorer is the device who provides the data based on some physical quantity. And at the end, you recover a 3D distribution of refractive index, which is really the fingerprints of the cell. But then from that, to really complete your travel, your exploration travel, you need to visualize those parts, what you are interested in. So the best way to focus maybe on a specific part is to stain this part. And that's what we call the digital staining. So thanks to these digital stains, the scientists can zoom in, zoom out, really travel within the cell and visualize what he's interested in without any barrier. What we want to bring with NanoLife is the capacity to travel inside the living cell without damaging it. So what you need to do to look inside a cell is to distinguish the different organelles. And to do so, we measure the optical density, which is called the refractive index, a physical property of the cell. And this we do in a quantitative fashion. In this way, the user can experience the inside of a living cell as never before. We love to say that the 3 Cell Explorer is the discovery tool for everyone. The number of applications is countless. Some applications we can think about are, for example, in in vitro fertilization. In vitro fertilization is a procedure that has a very low success rate, less than 30%. This is mainly due to a lack of control on sperm cells that can't be stained for obvious reasons. So the medical doctors can just guess what's the right cell to use. With the 3D Cell Explorer, the doctors will be able to actually monitor and analyze quantitatively sperm cells, as you can see from this model that we printed in 3D of one of our images. And like this, we hope to increase the success rate of this procedure. Other applications we can think about are regarding testing of cancer drugs on cancer cells. From one side, the 3D Cell Explorer could help researchers to develop smarter, 
treatment against cancer, but also in the clinics by saving time and money for patients by testing their own cells with the cancer drug that the medical doctor wants to administrate. Some patients are sensitive to some drugs, and this is a property of the cells. With our 3D cell explorer, you can test in real time and give him a real time response. It will enable researchers to develop smarter and more efficient drugs against cancer. We're the first ones to have the 3D cell explorer from NanoLife. We use it for research on cancer therapy. The main thing that, that we want to do with, with the 3D cell explorer is to uh, take serial images of, of cells over like a long period of time and insert clinically relevant therapies into this serial imaging, like course of radiotherapy or some chemotherapeutic drugs. And because the imaging is non-invasive, we can use a microscope to basically take an image in between these therapies and then always put them back in the incubator, let the cells grow, take another image. And because the, the, the image does not interfere with the cells growing or there are no toxic markers or stains added, uh, we can basically do this over a long period of time without disrupting the natural cell environment. So I'm actually very excited to have this tool because it will um, hopefully enable us to do things that nobody else has done before. In addition to making a complete tomography of the living cell in full color, the 3D Cell Explorer's cloud capabilities allow users to compare cells quantitatively with accumulated data and processing. Today, a researcher finds himself in an ocean of data. With NanoLife, he can navigate on this ocean based on a quantitative measure on the physical properties of the cell itself. And this gives the researcher the possibility to um, compare his results across the world. So imagine a researcher in China um, working on the very same cells as a researcher here in the US. And based on the quantitative nature of the results that they got from the Cell Explorer, they are all of a sudden capable of comparing the data and making new conclusions by connecting those dots. We believe that based on our technologies, researchers will no longer have to guess what's happening inside their cells, but for the very first time they will be able to measure and see the impact of the stimuli and drugs they apply on their cells. Thus, our belief and our hope, our aspiration is to enable new uh, research and developments and new products for the well-being of kinds in all sorts of industries that intervene with a living cell. Cosmetics, pharmaceutics, biotechnology and even education. For more information, visit www.nanolive.ch.